Just a quick update on the Firebird. It's uh, slowly getting turboed. Got our air to air in here, but it's not fitting very well with the Pontiac front grill. So I'm probably gonna just run it air to water. Wow. It's not aluminum. Sure isn't. I know other people would probably use other stuff, but this is what I use for sanding. If I do any Bondo work or need to take paint off, I usually use somewhere around 60 grit. Um, if I'm just scuffing the paint, I'll use 500 on a block, a scuff pad for like jams and like curved areas that you can't get in, especially on the step side, like in these creases or down in that area. And for the most part, pretty much the whole truck or anything that I paint, I use a DA with somewhere around a 220 now for removing badges or any adhesive that's left you know you can sit here and do this for a few days or you can get you one of these here and basically you just erase it off it's a giant rubber eraser Some people cut these round, but uh, they, they work just fine, even if they're square like this. Now, once you've got your whole paint scuffed up, you don't want it shining at all. Now, you're ready to start cleaning. As you can see, we have set up our paint booth, essentially. You might call it redneck, but it works. We have the tarp hung up along the sides, but look, we got plenty of ventilation up top where there's, you know, it'll let fresh air in. And then if you sit on over here on the sides, that will let the fresh air out. And that's the homemade paint booth. You gotta prep your ground surface. You don't want a bunch of dirt and dust flying up. Get your walls too. If you have walls. We got the paint here. It just mixes um, eight to four, which is the same thing as two to one. So. And this is why I buy the cheap guns, cause we cut a little notch in it there. If you can, yeah. And got a bottle we filled with sand right out of the creek. Now it's a little wet still, but uh, we've used it to blast this chain, but he's, my compadre here is gonna demonstrate on this here hood.
see, it's working. Now, I wouldn't want to use it to do the whole hood, but if you have something small like this that he's making for a knife stand, it works really good. This is the finished product. Well, almost finished. I still gotta get another grill where that is chipped off. And I gotta finish my stripping my hood, the original hood, the HD hood, so I can spray it. The paint was chipping on it, like all the way down to the metal, so I had to strip it. But here it is. You can see it's not perfect. And I didn't want perfect. It's gonna be a driver. Still gonna get used as a truck. I don't know if any of this is showing up. But it's, it's really shiny. Very, very little trash in it to be sprayed outside. Now, if you want perfection, you know, I probably wouldn't recommend this, but if you want a really nice looking driver without spending a fortune, it's the way to go. There it is. Here's the HD hood. I gotta get some chemical stripper to finish stripping the rest of this. It's just taking forever. Shows you why it's not on there, but all these cracks. The front bumper is off of 1500. Uh, this is the 2500 HD truck, so it does have the taller frame, which is would basically be like a 1500 with a two inch body lift. So I had to cut the frame on the front and raise the bumper up two inches to make it match. But that's why it looks like a 1500 on the front.